Hey everyone, finally doing an updated um, flip <clears throat> and kind of flip through through um, my half letter. As always, I don't really change my system. I mostly change the decor and what's in the planner, like with new inserts and stuff like that. I don't really change my system that often when I find a system that actually works for me. Like my system is really simple, like monthly, weeklies, and dailies, and the miscellaneous inserts. I don't really have I have planner separate for each type of planner. So this half, this is my half planner, which is my Etsy shop and Instagram and stuff like that. Whereas my pocket, it's my personal everyday carry kind of planner, and then my A6 is my finance planner. We have that's how I separate my planner and my system works for each and one of them. So first, um, I'm gonna tell you guys where these covers from. The covers from Poi and Han. But this is also from Porian Han. So you can see first we have a vellum Phoebe from Magic Meets Paper. I have a bunch of her Phoebes. I'm gonna link her Instagram down below also. And then we have a card holder from Porian Han and then some journaling cards from my shop, your paper and line co. And then we have more vellum. This is from my I'm um, sorry, Magic Meets Paper. And this vellum is from my minimal planner. These one, this one is from Magic Meets Paper. This is from my shop. You can put this on vellum or on significant vellum. So this is also from Magic Meets Paper. As you can see, this is on vellum. And this is on acetate, so you can layer them really pretty. And then we have Magic Meets Paper again. Love her the um, freebies. So first we have a yearly overview, then we have monthly. The monthly plan, weekly, week plan, and projects, and then there's like project goals, notes, and finance stuff like that. So first we have our yearly overview. It's just that I keep track of the sales I get. Like every a hundred sales, every fifty sales, I do jot it down. Um, and here, like, I like to keep track of every sale. It makes me pretty really happy. As you can see, I finally reached my 100 sales on May 4th. May the 4th be with you, even though I don't watch Star uh, even though I don't watch Star Wars. So we have that, and then here's like a, a yearly plan that I draw down all the important stuff that happened in my Etsy shop, like the, my goals that I hit, Instagram followers, stuff like that. And then yeah, and then we onto our monthlies. We have this pretty dashboard, in black and white, and then we just have our monthlies. Usually for the monthly, I usually just pay do like a plan out the whole month and see what my monthly goals is, my monthly sales, following stuff like that. And I try to put in each week what I'm gonna post up now, which I started recently, and hopefully I can continue doing that so I can post every single week. And then um, we have our weekly. So as same as um, I just really do just write down all of the stuff that I gotta do weekly there's not much like I just every week I do different news a different insert to test them out it's just fun like, there's not much there's a difference in here so my horizontal ones stuff like that I try to keep organized my shop well and like updates and stuff like that I just put a bunch of weekly instances to just use, so I want to keep printing every single week. And then we have my projects, so I just put like projects I'm currently doing, some goals that I'm setting myself for my shop. I can show you an empty page of my goal planning. Uh, this is two on one page. This will also be on the shop soon. Just currently trying to create my PR collab, and then we have a one page one, and then we have our finance, which I'm gonna keep that private. But we do have like um, this finance tracker, which you can track the type of um, finance you're trying to track. So, this general savings, expenses, debt, investment, and others, which you can just print it. Here we have a check mark, date, description, amount, and total. Enjoy this quick flip through. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.